some transformations, guys. Let's pick this all as a surprise doll for the first transformation. We're going to costume her into Stormy Weather, one of the first acclimatized villains of Miracle's Ladybug. For this transformation, we're going to make a mask for her, and we will paint with purple color the dress and the tights of our LL doll. We will have to paint this LL boots with white and before the last step, we'll model her umbrella. The first step for this transformation will be cutting the top part of the hair of our LL doll. That is kind of like a mohawk, and then we will cover the hole with tape. Now we will begin modeling the hair of stormy weather. We are going to take a little bit of air dry clay and we are going to form kind of like a half circle and we are going to paste it on the top front part of the head to create her side bangs and we will use a stick to perfect the shape. Next we will add more clay on top. We are going to extend the clay to cover the original hair of our LL doll and we will model this so then we can add the ponytails. Before the clay on the hair dries, we are going to use this modeling stick to create texture on the hair. We are marking thin lines all over the clay to form hair strands. To form her long pigtails, we are going to use foam. We form two rolls of foam with pointed ends, and then to give the pigtails a little bit more of texture, we are going to twist the foam rolls and we will place them on the back of the head of our LL doll. Once the hair is dry, we can start painting it. Stormy Weather has two shades of purple. We are going to begin painting with dark purple color the hair and we will make sure not to stain the areas of the hair that are going to be lighter, like her bands that we will paint later. While we wait for the dark purple color to dry, we will move on to work on the clothes. With the same purple color we previously used for the hair, we are going to paint the legs of our doll to simulate the purple tags of Stormy Weather. We are also going to paint with this color from her tummy all the way up to her neck. This will be to simulate the turtleneck shirt she has under the dress. Now with light like color we are going to paint the parts of the hair that are still white. We will start painting the bangs and then we will paint the pigtails. We are painting the little arms of our doll with white to simulate the long white gloves of stormy weather. It's time to paint the yellow dress that we picked for stormy weather. We are painting with this royal blue color from the waist down. We want to cover the original decorations of the dress, so we will apply as many coats as we need. Once we even out the color of the skirt of the dress and it's dry, we are going to paint the top part. We are going to use the same purple color we used for the hair and for the tights. And when it dries, we are going to put the dress onto our doll. Our LL doll is finally wearing the dress. Now we need to change the eye color of our doll from blue to purple. To make the eye mask of stormy weather, first we're going to outline the shape of the mask and then we're going to fill it using a dark royal blue color. We're going to use these LL boots for hair, but before painting them we're going to cut them in an angle shape at the opening. Now we're going to paint them completely white. Next, we have this small straw that we're going to cut in half. We're going to use the first half for the parasol of stormy weather, and we'll use later in the video the other half for hog mob gang. To make the parasol or the umbrella the weapon of stormy weather, we're covering part of the straw with foam, and then we're going to model the shape with our fingers. We finished modeling the umbrella and we let it dry. Now we're painting it all with bright pink color and we'll use the same pink color to draw a lightning bolt on her chest. Our LL surprise doll looks super cool as the super villain stormy weather. Keep watching the rest of the video to see the other three super villain transformations of Miraculous Ladybug. For our second transformation, we're going to turn our LL doll into Lady Wi-Fi. We're going to use this LL doll and we're going to start by cutting the hair bone and the hoop earring she has on. And to make her clothes, we will have to paint the body of our doll to simulate the black suit. Let's cut off the hoop earrings and the little hair bone, and we'll cover the hole in the head with tape. Now we're going to take a piece of air dry clay to cover the original hair of our LL doll and we'll start modeling with our fingers the top part of the hair of our lady Wi-Fi. She has a middle part hairstyle, so we'll use a modeling stick for the details. While the clay is still fresh, we're going to use this modeling tool to mark hair strands to make the hair look more real. 
We'll let this dry and then we'll add length to the hair by using foam. Once the clay is dry, we're going to add foam on all this area. We're going to apply the foam on the lower back part of the head and we're going to extend it to the sides to form the bottom part of the hair or lady Wi-Fi. And we're going to start modeling it with our fingertips. It's time to paint her hair. Lady Wi-Fi is a brunette, so we apply in dark brown paint all over the hair of our dear LL doll and we'll let the hair dry before continuing with the next step. Lady Wi-Fi wears a full black bodysuit, so we apply in black paint directly on the body of our LL doll to simulate the black tight suit. Now we're going to add an extra touch of color to the hair. We're applying orange color on the bottom part of the hair and we're fading it. We're doing this because Lady Wi-Fi has a lighter shade of orange on the tips of the hair. The lower part of her arm and legs on the bodysuit are white with stripes. First we're going to paint with white her little hand till the middle part of the arms. And we're going to paint with white to the lower part of the legs, right below the knees to simulate her boots. We're going to do this step on both sides and we'll wait for the white to dry so then we can draw the black stripes. With a very fine brush we're going to draw with white paint the Wi-Fi symbol she has on her chest. And with this same brush we're going to also draw the thin white line that goes around her waist, creating a semicircle in the front middle that resembles a power button. And the final step for Lady Wi-Fi's transformation is painting her eye mask. We outline the shape of the mask and then we're going to use black paint to color it. She's ready! I think we did a great job costuming our little doll into the super villain Lady Wi-Fi, don't you think? Lady Wi-Fi was acclimatized by the Hog Mob, but she's actually Alia, Marinette's best friend. For the third transformation, we're going to turn this little surprise doll into the super villain Hog Mob. We pick a few little accessories that we'll use as base to model the rest of the suit of Hog Mob. After modeling the clothes, we're going to paint them, and we will also have to cut the little braids of our doll so we can model the silver mask. We'll begin this third transformation by cutting the two little braids. Next we're going to apply air dry clay on top of the head of our doll to cover the original hair. We're extending the clay with our fingers and we're going to make it look super smooth. We finished modeling the clay. Now we mark these lines on the legs right where the shoes were, so we can put the shoes back on after modeling the pants. To model the pants of Hog Mod, we're going to use clay to cover the legs of our doll, and then with the help of a modeling stick, we'll perfect the shape of the pants and we'll work on the details. The pants are ready! Now we want the jacket to look a little bit longer, so we're going to add more clay on top of the LOL clothes. We're going to use the vest as face to model the jacket, and we'll use a modeling tool to work on the details. Once all the clay we use is dry, we can begin painting. We're using a very dark shade of purplish blue color to paint all the suit of Hawk Mod, and then we'll let this dry before painting the rest of the details on the suit. Now we're going to paint the mask. We're painting the top part of the head that we modeled with clay and all the face of our doll with silver color. The only areas we are going to leave without painting are the eyes and right below his mouth, the chin. We will have to apply two or three coats of silver paint to even out the color and get the silver tone that we want for his mask. Now we're painting with black the label of the jacket of his suit and also the little hands of our doll to simulate his gloves. Next we're going to paint the shoes. We're using the same silver color we used to paint the mask. We're going to change the eye color of our LL doll from blue to brown. With a very thin brush we're drawing with black paint the decoration he has on his mask. Now we're applying a coat of clear polish to make the eyes of our doll look shinier. We're using the other half of the straw that we cut at the beginning of the video for the cane of Hog Mod. We added a tiny bit of foam to model the top part of the cane. Then we just need to paint the cane completely black. Hot Mod is ready guys! He is the main super villain from Miracle's Ladybug and our elder doll looks amazing after we costume her into him. 
Our last transformation is going to be Antibug, who is Chloe, Marinette's rival but acromatized. Antibug wears a costume similar to Ladybug's but with inverted colors. We're going to paint the suit directly on the body of our doll and we'll model the hair. The last step will be painting the eye mask. Time to start! To model the hair of Antibug, first we need to cut this part of the original hair of our little doll and we'll put tape over the hole to cover it. Next, just like we did for the other transformations, we are applying air dry clay on top of the head to even out the hair. Chloe has a middle part hairstyle like stormy weather, but with a ponytail, so we're going to use a modeling stick to form the shape of the hair and work on the details. We added texture to the hair and once the clay is dry we're going to add foam on the back to form a ponytail. We're pasting the foam to the clay and we're going to model it with our fingertips. While we wait for the hair to dry we'll move on to work on the clothes. We're painting with black all the body of our LL doll to simulate the bodysuit of Antibuff. We'll apply two coats of black to even out the color. Chloe is blonde so we're going to paint the hair of our LL doll with the shade of yellow color. Our LL doll's skin is a little bit darker than Chloe's so we're going to paint the face of our doll with this light cream color. Now with the end of the handle of a brush, we're going to take bright red pen and we're going to add red dots all over the black bodysuit of Antibuff. Chloe has blue eyes, so we need to change the eye color of our LL doll. We're applying blue paint over the original brown color of the eyes of our doll. Next, we're going to use black paint to draw the eye mask of Antibug. With the same bright red color we used before, we're going to paint the dots on Antibug's eye mask. To add a little bit of extra color to the lips of Antibug, we're using a pale pink color to apply on the lips of our doll. And the final step is applying clear polish on the eyes of Antibug to make them shinier. Ta-da! Our LL doll looks great as Antibug. This is the second transformation we have made in our channel of Antibug. We have a very cool video where we turn a My Little Pony into Antibug and Ladybug. You should check it out. Ready guys, this is the final look of our Elva Surprise dolls transforming to four of our favorite super villains from Miraculous Ladybug. Here we have Stormy Weather, Lady Wi-Fi, Antibug, and the main antagonist from the series, Hog Mod. They all look amazing. If you like any of these transformations, leave in the comment section below which one was your favorite. Please give us a like and share the video with all your friends. Ring the bell to receive notifications of our next videos and subscribe to Toy Transformations if you haven't done it yet. See you later guys, thanks for watching, bye bye!